Is it your misfortune and not my own? Give it high, I owe, get along, you little goat. You know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. Oh, 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 steady. Oh. Yeah, there they are, hein? Just like I told you. Yeah, about a hundred head of horse flesh in that herd. Sure, belong to a Jasper by the name of Bill Carson. Got a rain, healthy here. Well, let's get moving. We'll stampede them horses north into the Box Canyon. Sure. Come on there. Get up there. Get up. Bill? Somebody stole our horses in North Canyon. Are you sure? Of course I am. Just come back from there. Every last horse is gone. Oh, what are you going to do, Bill? Follow after them horse thieves. Oh, but you can't fight them alone, Bill. Well, don't worry about that. I ain't even to fight them alone. Here's what I want you to do. I'll saddle up your horse and you ride into town and get Lightning Jim. <laughs> Yes, when folks around Fort Anderson had trouble, they knew they could count on help from United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. A fearless courage, a lightning draw, and a dead shot were the characteristics that made Lightning Jim both feared and respected by the bandits, outlaws, and Indians of the Old West. Recently, the Marshal and his deputy had been captured by the renegade Indian chief, Wolf Paw, but an Indian boy called Little Bear had helped them to escape from the Indian camp and single-handed had caught two outlaws who had been smuggling guns to Chief Wolf's paw. Lightning Jim and Whitey took the boy back to their quarters at Fort Anderson. No, no, no. It'll be not to. No, you listen to me, young fella. You ain't living with Indians no more. You got to get yourself cleaned up, Jim. Me not going water and white man keep me. Now listen here. I fixed up this tub of water just so you can have a nice bath. Whitey put water on fire. Burn, little bear. No, you won't get burned. That's just nice and warm. Yeah, I can put my hand in it like this. Too small for little bear. Well, not too small. Where? Oh, no, this tub ain't too small. Why, uh, that's big enough for me. You go in there? Sure, me and Lightning wash in this tub. Now, if that's big enough for us, that's big enough for you. Why do you tell lies? Say what? Little bear not think why do washing top. Too small. Yo, but I just got to telling you that it is. Me want to see why do you do that. You mean uh, you want me to take a bath? Yes. Well, I ain't going to do it. This tub of water is for you. No. By golly, you're going to take a bath, and I'm just the fella that can make you. Come on, now. Take off your clothes. No, no. Hey, oh, let's put her hair. You see, you think that's funny, huh? Why do you make funny faces? Well, I think maybe you'll be making funny faces before I get through with you. No, for the last time. Take off your clothes and get into that tub of water. No. Well, you asked for it. Come here. Oh, you hurt me, Bear. See, show you. Oh, <laughs> you'll be in a minute. Kiss me like any other boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you think you can make most of the best me, do you? No, I pick you over my knee and I give you a good spanking. No, no, no. Yo, yo, yo. And here it goes. One, two, three, four, five. But I don't see yell. Six, seven, eight. Are you going to take a bet? No. All right, I'll start over again. One, two, three. Hey, hey, what's going on here? Well, I was just showing Little Bear what happens to boys that don't see what they're told by Jelly. I see. 
Well, you better let him up now. All right, uh, Tim may be fair enough. Little bear, hey, why did you step so bad? I just want him to take a bath and he pushed my hair and kicks me in the shin. What do you got to say for yourself, little bear? Why did you take little bear on like this? Him push like that in the ball. <laughs> 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 no, you ain't against the doctor. He shall write it. Him too big for Charles. <laughs> yes, so. Yes, yes, can I get my hands on <laughs> Never mind, Whitey. Yeah, give me your hand. <laughs> you want to give me your hand. It's hot, right? Whitey, say water, not hot. No, it's hot and wet. So, so Come here, little bear. <laughs> little bear not want to go in hot water. Loose women water outside. Oh, yes, I understand, son. But you said you wanted to live with the white man. Now, is that right? Yes. Well, if you want to live with us, you want to learn to do things the way we hey, do. Oh, that's true. Yes, but, but not going hot water. Well, no, that water ain't so hot now. See? Cooled off. Put your finger in. Go on, it won't hurt you. <coughs> <laughs> there, what to tell you? Sometimes we have to wipe in cold water outside just like the Indians do. But when we're home, we like to use warm water. Feels good and makes us clean. Now, do you understand? Yes. Now, you know me and Whitey want to help you all we can. White man, good friend to little bear. That's right. You see, Whitey was just trying to help you. You didn't mean to pull his hair and kick him, now, did you? No. And you didn't mean to push him in the tub, neither, now, did you? No, little bear, sorry. Want to make friends with Whitey. <laughs> That's the way to talk. Well, Whitey, are you willing to come halfway and shake hands and make up? Oh, yeah, all right. Put to there, son. How? Oh. oh, and I'm sorry, I uh, thank you. Why your hands plenty hot? <laughs> it hurt me more than it did you, my God. <laughs> yes, Whitey, but not in the same place. Yo, that's true. Yeah, yes. now, little bear, you run along outside. Yo, I say, don't get into any more trouble than you can help. Little bear, these <laughs> Hey, 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 are you laughing at me? Whitey, my buddy, in hot water. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, Mr. Rex. <laughs> 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 yeah, at? he's right, Whitey. He said they had you in hot water. <laughs> oh, well, no, I got to think this that close. Yeah, Whitey, that's why we got so much trouble with the Indians. Well, how you figure that? Well, you didn't understand Little Bear, and he didn't understand you. And that's what's going on right out here on the plane. Yeah, but you keep saying Little Bear ain't the Redskin. Uh, you still think he's the white boy? Yes, I do, Whitey. Gin's dark from exposure to wind and sun, and he picked up some Indian habits, but... Your teacher and hair ain't Indian. Yo, well, then if he's a white boy, why, he must have been captured by Chief Wolf or one of his reds. Yeah, them things have happened before, you know. The Indians have taken white babies and raised them like their own children. And uh, does he remember anything? No, I asked him about it. Learned English from one of the Indian agents, and Wolf Paw's been using him as an interpreter. Oh, you wish uh, the poor little is uh, I certainly wish we could find his real mom and pop. So do I, Whitey. Meantime, we've got to find a good home for him here in Fort Anderson. Well, I thought he was going to stay with us. No, no, that won't do. Whitey, I will take us out of here too often, and besides, he needs a woman's chair. You're like him, but, but you still see him. I wish we could keep him. What? <laughs> well, I'm surprised, Whitey. After what just happened to you, I should think you'd be glad to get rid of him. Oh, well, never mind that. Even so, I, I still think he's pretty smart. <laughs> oh, she liked me. I almost forgot to What's tell that? you. Uh, here's a letter from Rita. Rita? Yeah, oh, Rita Smith to listen to Mom's and Well. Oh, sure. What did you have to say, Whitey? Oh, she thanks you and me again for saving her father. Yeah, how is he, now? Oh, she says she's fine, and Rita uh, got married to Dave. Is that so? Uh, well, that's fine. Yeah, but she is it. He ain't heard the real news. No? What's that? Uh, you remember Adolph said dog Jenny? Sure I do, Jenny. Had a little of puppies before we left. Yo, and he said she gave me one of them. That's right. Uh, well, she says in the letter that my puppy is growing up fine and strong. <laughs> and pretty soon she and Adolph and Dave are coming over to Fort Anderson to see you. Yeah, that's so. Yo, and they are going to bring my puppy with oh, them. Oh, oh. No, uh, what you think? Well, that, that's your sure good news, Whitey. Right yeah? White lady outside. Want to see you. Wait a minute. She can't come in here. I ain't got no pen, sir. Ah, uh, don't get excited. I'll go outside and talk to her. White lady, say come quick. Oh. Right. Why, it's Mrs. Carson. Yes, Lightning. Are you busy? Never too busy to talk to you, ma'am. How's Bill? Well, he was all right when I left the ranch. 
Lightning, he sent me to get you. Anything wrong? Yes, Lightning. Somebody stole over a hundred head of our horses. That's so. Yes, and Bill ain't sure if it's horse thieves or redskins. Where was the horses? In North Canyon. When were they taken? Early this evening. Where's Bill? Well, he went back to see if he could pick up the trail. And then he's coming back to the ranch to meet you. That is, if you can come. Sure, we'll come, Miss Carson. Little Bear likes to go, too. Uh, I don't know about that, son. Little Bear helped Marshal catch horse thieves. Well, who's the boy, Lightning? His name's Little Bear. I'll tell you about him on the way out to the ranch. Boys, wait here, Boy. and I'll see if Bill come back here. Oh, Bill! Hey, Bill. Like Look at Little Bear. He's got his rifle for with him. Little Bear, help White Ben catch horses. Now listen, son. I said you could come out with us to the ranch, but you can't go no further. What you want me to do? You stay here with Mrs. Carson till we come back. No catch horses here at ranch. Well, maybe not, but that's where you're going to stay, just the same. Right, jealous, like you can't listen to me, you to say nothing. Little Bear, help White Ben catch bad men, sell guns from Chief Wolfpaw. He sends the man still hurt. Hey, oh, oh, but little bear, if you catch all the bandits and outlaws, there won't be nothing left for me and lightning. Hey, we can't let you catch them all, you That's know. right, son. Little bear want to be lawman, too. Well, when you get a little older, we'll see what we can do about that. But first, you've got to learn to obey orders. Say, I can't find Bill anywhere. He ain't come back, and oh, I'm plenty worried. You say them horses was in the North Canyon? That's right. It's straight north of the ranch, lightning. Well, me and Whitey will go up that way, and... Bill went up there to pick up tracks. That's where we ought to find him. Oh, dear, I hope nothing's happened to him. Oh, I reckon he's all right, ma'am. I told Little Bear to stay here with you until we come back. Come on, Whitey. Let's go, Thunder. God bless him. They're a grand pair. Good friends to Little Bear. Yes, and from what Jim told me, you are a pretty good friend to them, too. Little Bear, shoot good. <laughs> I bet you can. Are you hungry? Hungry? Yes. Would you like something to eat? Eat. Little Bear likes me plenty much. <laughs> I'll bet. I never knew a boy that didn't like to eat most all the time. Well, you come on in the house and we'll see what we can do about that. Little Bear wants to stay out here. Stay out here? Well, what for? Maybe horse thieves come back here. Me catch them. My goodness. Why, for such a young boy, you aren't afraid, are you? Me not afraid. Little Bear want to help white woman. Why, bless your heart. I'm going to kiss you for that. Why you do that? Because I think you're a mighty sweet boy for saying that. That what you do to white boys? Yeah. That means that we love them. Mm, me like that. Little bear want to be just like little white boy. <laughs> Well, Squint, it was a hard ride, but we got all them horses into that box canyon safe. Yeah, when you reckon they'll be coming for them? Well, they ought to be out of here tonight. We'll go up to the cabin and wait and stir up some grub. Come on, get up! Oh, thunder, oh, boy, oh. This that's funny, Lightning. We ain't seen a sign of Bill Corson. Oh, we followed the trail of the horses up here. If he was doing the same thing, we ought to run into him. See, you think maybe he'll run into them horses and they got the best of him? I've been trying not to think of that, Whitey. Well, we come this far, so let's follow the trail as far as she goes. Oh, uh, see, I wonder what the name of this canyon is. Don't know, Whitey. We've been through most of this country, but don't remember this canyon. No, oh, it looks like the way we come in is the only way you can get in. Yep, typical box canyon. Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? Look over there on the clearing under the cl uh, cliff there. Yeah, looks like a cabin. Oh, that's what it is. I think you better go over there. Right. Come on, Thunder. Whitey. Don't make no noise. Oh, see, it don't look like nobody's around there. Yeah, but we ain't taking no chance. Pull up your hands. Pull up your hands. Don't be mean, Dennis. Well, did Lightning Jim and Whitey walk into a trap? 
Part two of this thrilling adventure in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim and Whitey Larson will follow immediately. And now for part two of the exciting Lightning Jim story, Little Bear Repays a Debt. In a previous adventure, an Indian boy named Little Bear had helped Lightning Jim and Whitey escape from the camp of the renegade Indian chief, Wolf Paw. The boy wanted to live with the white men, so Lightning Jim and Whitey took him back to Fort Anderson and planned to find a good home for him. Near Fort Anderson, there was a horse ranch owned by Bill Carson. Bill discovered that horse thieves had stolen a hundred of his horses, and while he followed the trail of the thieves, his wife, Faith Carson, went back to the town to get Lightning Jim and Whitey. They went to the ranch, and leaving the Indian boy with Mrs. Carson, the marshal and his deputy went out to look for Bill. The trail led them to a box canyon, and as they approached what looked to be a deserted cabin, a man's voice rang out sharply. Put up your hands! Shoot Hold him, Minnie! Don't move or I'll drill you! He's behind that rock. Yeah. Put him up, Whitey. All right, mister. Oh, yeah. How did you get away with stealing my horses? I'm going to show you what happens to horse thieves. It's Bill Carson. Bill. Hey, Bill, don't shoot. Wait, and Jim. Hello. Hello, that bit. Thank God you spoke when you did like that. I might have drilled both of you. Oh, boy, that sure was a close, son. I say. I followed the trail up this canyon and seen the cabin. Nobody was here, and I figured I'd wait and see if anybody come up. We were aiming to do the same thing, Bill. Yeah, I heard you sneaking up. Couldn't see your faces in the shadows of the trees. Well, I'm certainly glad you ain't got the nervous trigger finger. I'll tell you that. Oh, my, Waddy. What happened to you? Why didn't you come back and meet us at the ranch? Well, Jim, when I picked up the hot trail, it kept on going till I got here. I was aiming to double back as soon as I located the horses and the coyotes and stole them. We're taking plenty of chances, Bill. This might be a gang of outlaws. Yeah, I know, Jim. Well, what do you reckon we better do? Hey, there's somebody coming now. Yeah, drop behind this rock. Quick. Well, they're not about the horses. They'll see them. Got a chance, lad. Holy smoke. Look, the cross from the clearing. You've been in minute. That's the Redskins. Don't shoot like you the word. Looks like there's about ten of them red devils. Yeah, let them come right up to the cabin. That's where they're heading for. There they come. Quiet. <laughs> You see your horses? Yeah. The leader's coming this way. Not yet. Reach for the sky, Indian. Don't move, Indian, or I'll let you have it. Hey, you meant to stop. Quick! That's better. Why didn't Bill keep your guns on them, Jasper? Sure, sure, like that. Yeah, and I'll drill a person that don't do as you say. Don't uh, shoot unless I tell you. What, uh, what white men do here? I reckon you ought to know that Indian. Say, I've seen you before. You're from Wolf Paw's tribe, eh? Uh, Raven, him no talk. The Raven. Well, you kind of let that slip out, Indian. Last time we met was up in Wolf Paw's camp. Oh, I remember him back then. Raven, tell your men to throw down the gun. Yeah, brave, not do that. Oh, yes, they will. You tell them to throw down the guns, or you might go to your happy hunting ground. Savvy? Yeah. Well, you're going to do it, or you want me to shoot? Yeah. Aniga! Go! 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 Why do you and Bill go over and pick up them rifles? You only do that. Raven, we're taking you and your men back to Fort Anderson. You're under arrest. Not so fast, mister. Don't go. We got your coming. Yeah, and we just as soon get you as not. All right. Drop your guns, all three of you. That's better. Get him a gun. You stay here and keep him out of the Wow. Howdy, Raven. Yeah, what you do here? Set trap for Raven? A trap? 
<laughs> Say, we wouldn't be double-crossing you and Chief Wolf Paw. Well, 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 will you look who's here. If it ain't my old friend, Lightning Jim. Yeah, I reckon you ought to know me by now, Hank. Yeah. White man, law man from Fort. Sure, Ivan. Why, me and Lightning Jim's old friends. Ain't we, Marshal? Yeah, good friend. Sure. <laughs> you know, Raven, this man likes me so well, he had me come and visit him at Fort Anderson. Yeah, stayed with him most of the year. Uh, him no friend of Wolf Paw. Oh, that's too bad. You know, Lightning, Wolf Paw ain't a bad fellow when you get to know him right well. Oh, no, he know all about that Wolf Paw. Quiet, buddy. I got those guns, Raven. Yeah, me, get them. All right, Squint, come on over. Sure. Now, you three Jaspers, line up again in that cabin. Go on before I let you have it. Yeah, keep them covered. Wolf Paw, catch them, white men. Take it away. Soldiers, come and save. Well, they won't be getting away so easy this time. Yeah, Raven, take back to Wolf Paw. Him, take care. Ah, we ought to drill him now. No, no. Wolf Paw, angry. If him, no kill law man. Oh, well, I reckon you're right. Shooting's too good for him anyway. Yeah. Better die slow. Burn him in fire. Yeah, Hank. Let the Redskins have him. Then nobody can say we put him out of the way. Yeah. Well, Lightning, I reckon Wolf Paul sure give you boys a good time. <laughs> I'd sure like to be there. Yeah, we enjoyed our visit there before. Well, you won't be talking so smart when they tie you to a stake and set a fire on the... Uh. You got horses? Sure, they're by the spring up the canyon away. Mm, that good. Better tie up these three hombres and get on our way. Sure. Hey, what's that? Don't go, you are, you are. Ah, what is it, Raven? That, that call of Wolf Paw, medicine man. Wolf Paw's medicine man, what's he doing out here? Uh, not know. Raven, take braves, go see. It came from over yonder near them trees. Yeah. We, we go now. Come back soon. You stay with lawman. Yeah, we'll tie him up. Yeah, we go. What do you make of it, Hank? I don't know. I never could figure out a red skin no how. Listen, if we turn these hombres over to Wolf Paw, they might get away again. If we drill them now, the redskins will get the blame anyway. Yeah, I know, but Wolf Paw will be plenty mad, just like the raven said. Sure, but we can say they tried to escape from us and we had to shoot them, see? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that ain't a bad idea, Squint. Come on. Let's get it over with. All right, Lightning. Will you take a face in front of us? You'd rather turn your back. You're running this party, Hank. But we ain't turning our backs on a couple of yellow-livered rats. <laughs> Listen to the man talk, will you? <laughs> yeah. All right, Squint. I'm taking a first shot. I'm drawing a bead on Lightning Jim's heart. So long, Law Badge. <laughs> What's the... Oh! oh. 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 I got him. Grab his gun. Oh. 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 I got right, sir. I... You're breaking my arm. Hey, tell her I'll break your neck. All right, let and I got the gun. And I got the other Jasper's gun. He shot right through the head. You been him, and Where did that shot come from? Wait. Somebody behind that boulder. Oh! See, this little bear. Little bear. Come, soon as good. Keep your gun on screen, buddy. Sure. Well, little bear, seems like you... You're always showing up at the right time. Little bear, sorry. What do you mean, you're sorry? Sorry not shoot other bad men, too. Oh, that's <laughs> old boy. Little bear, we'll take care of him, by golly. Say, Jim, what's this all about? Who is this kid? It's a long story, Bill, and I'll tell you about it later. Name's Little Bear. Son, this is Bill Carson. Well, howdy, son. I don't care who you are. You sure done us a good turn. You, Bill Carson. You belong to white woman on ranch. <laughs> I say, oh. uh, you better do. You see, little bear, I must get you hollering and yelling there. Uh, me follow a trail from ranch. He raving and brave. He's call of medicine man. Yeah, that's what Raven said. When brave hear medicine man call, go quick to where they hear medicine man call. Then little bear, come here, quick, another trail. Well, you sure used your head that time, son. Your little bear's a plenty smart boy, I tell you that. Look, look, Raven, come back. Yeah, this time we gotta get him. Keep behind the cabin. Yeah. Reach for the sky, Raven. Raven, you see that white man on the ground? He's dead. Shot through the head. And that's what'll happen to you if you make a move. Little. Little bear. Yes, Raven, it's Little Bear. He's paying you back for trying to kill his friend. Will you 
you see, Faith, after we got the drop on him a second time, we was able to take them all back to Fort Anderson Jail. That's right, ma'am. Hank is dead, and Squid will stand trial with Raven and the other Indians. Yeah, we got all the horses back, too. Well, thank heavens you all got back alive. <laughs> yeah, I don't reckon we would have if it hadn't been for a little bear. Little bear, glad white friend. Yes, ma'am. Well, land sakes, what's the matter, child? I'm hurt. Little, not much. It's an old wound that ain't healed up yet, ma'am. Mm. He was wounded in a fight between the soldiers and Wolf Paw's braves. And his shirt is all torn. Here, now, let me see your arm. What? Bill! What is it, Faith? What's the matter? Bill, that birthmark on his arm. Look at it. Good Lord. Faith, you don't think it might be the... Oh, it must be. I'd know it anywhere. Bill, it's our baby. Well, don't believe me. Faith, I, I can't believe it. Lightning, 12 years ago, we was attacked by redskins. I stole our baby. We give him up for dead. What do you mean, little bear? Your baby. Oh, it means you're my little boy. Oh, let me look at you and hold you close. It's, it's a miracle, baby. Lightning. All these years, <laughs> he's been a praying. Yes, and the good Lord heard my prayers. Oh, merciful God, I thank you. <laughs> And so ends another thrilling adventure in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy Whitey Larson.